Coming up on Brick Nerd, we'll enjoy some delicious tacos, open a surprise from Germany, and take a look at the Jawa Sandcrawler. All that in the latest leg of news right here on Brick Nerd. Welcome to Brick Nerd, your source for LEGO news, reviews, and the LEGO fan community. If you're nerdy about the bricks, you've come to the right place. First up, the news. Beyond the Brick, a LEGO brick documentary premiered at Tribeca Film Festival last week. Brick Nerd Studios is very proud to have contributed to this excellent documentary by providing over six minutes of stop-motion animation. LEGO has just announced the new Fairground Mixer, the latest creator expert model. It's a carnival ride with a real twist. Both the ride and the booth actually pack up onto two trucks. Genius. Lego Kuso is getting a new name. The website has announced that on April 30th, the Kuso beta will be over, and the site will now be known as Lego Ideas. Some of the terms will also be changing, so be sure to head over to the site and get all the information. That about does for the news. Let's open a surprise from Germany. These come from Adam Monostori. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I've um, actually had it for a few weeks now. I've been delaying opening it because I wanted to do it on air. And uh, been dying with curiosity. I think I know what it is. You sent these. You have to look at the packaging. It's uh, inspired by Monty Python and the Holy Grail. So I'm hoping inside is a minifigure from that very series or very movie. I feel bad opening it this way because I'm destroying the packaging and the packaging is one of the coolest things about it. Suspense is killing me. And it is... <laughs> it is a fan-made collectible minifigures from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I got myself... Sir Bedivere. It even comes with a set of scales. <laughs> That's cool. There's also another package here. I don't know what's in this one either. Let's open it and find out. I wasn't thinking I would have worn my Monty Python shirt. Or one of my Monty Python shirts. I have several. This one also has another collectible minifig sheet. This looks like it's a little smaller. There's notes on the back, but I'll read those in private. It is a stand. <laughs> so I got Sir Bedivere and Sir not appearing in this movie, which is an empty minifigure base. Very, very funny. Well, thank you very much, Adam. I will treasure these. They're going to go up on display. Figure out how to save those and maybe put them up there with them. I don't know how. But those are awesome. Thank you very much. I will. What are we going to do with them? Okay. So let's enjoy taco time. It's, uh, it's not Friday or Tuesday. It's not Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. But we'll enjoy a taco anyway. These come to, uh, to, to me from Bruce Lowell, who uh, I'm sure many of you have heard of. He's an awesome builder and a good friend of mine. Uh, he's now selling these on his website. You can go to brucelowell.com and pick yourself up a taco. These were featured in the Lego movie. So let's uh, put this together really quick. It won't take very long. There's a uh, little QR code on the back here. You can scan that and go right to his website. On the website itself, you go to brucehole.com slash instructions. You'll find the instructions to build these awesome little taco kits. I already happen to have it up here, so I can just quickly throw it together.
Taco. I love tacos. It actually kind of reminds me of those little tiny tacos they have at 7-Eleven that you should never eat. If you have any respect for your gastrointestinal system. Anyway, there's a taco. Head over to brucelowell.com. You can pick one up. I think they're $13 shipping included in the U.S. and $4 international, I believe. Uh, really cool, really cute. Just like from the Lego movie. Awesome. Now let's take a look at the Jawa Sandcrawler. I like this set. I think it's really cool. It's gigantic. I think it's 3,600 pieces. Oh, it's huge. Uh, it took us, I don't know if you tuned in for the live build, but I had a group of friends together and we put it together. It took us like six and a half hours to put it together, working in teams and sharing the load and it still took forever. So it's a big, big set, but it's also loaded with features. I mean, there's there's tons of them. Um, you have a little cockpit, you can put the, the Jawas in there. This lowers the front hatch. You can open up multiple panels on it. And the sides open up. This one has a tendency to kind of fall. I'm not sure why. Um, there's a little crane. These little boxes you can use to uh, load stuff around. It's got multiple attachments for the cranes. So you can pick up different robots and these actually fit through these little trap doors and drop down into a, a little container storage section there. You can actually put the little, new little attachments on the crane, pick stuff up. So, play features wise, this thing's loaded. You can Kids can play with this thing for hours. Um, design wise, I like it. Uh, there's some really interesting ways to get all the angles on this thing. I really like the front end on it. Uh, the way that these little gaps were covered up is really clever. So and there's a couple other places that are a little funky. There's a big gap here, but that is to facilitate this, this trap door opening. Unless you break the handle off and then, then it's stuck forever. Not really. But uh, yeah, it's loaded with features. Uh, was fun to build despite uh, the length of time it took to do. I mean, normally, like something like this, if I was just building it alone, it would take me a couple weeks because I just built it, you know, 20 minutes here, an hour there. Um, but 
we decided to just go power through it in one, one afternoon. Uh, comes with plenty of minifigs, as you can see. Four Jawas, uh, a couple of assorted droids, classic oops, R5-D4. Look, this one's got a bad motivator. Uh, R2 and 3PO, Treadwell, got a gonk droid, uh, Uncle Owen and Luke Skywalker. And this little guy here, um, they show all the parts in different storage compartments, uh, or storage containers that are stored in here. Which are, if I have one complaint about this thing, opening these doors is next to impossible. But inside here, there's multiple containers. And they show the instructions have it with a, a part in each container. So basically, you can put all the parts, take all those out, take them all out, and build this little guy here. Which is, you know, okay for a little robot design. There seemed to be some debate of whether or not this was a, a Ultimate Collector Series set. I see right here a little thing that says Ultimate Collector Series, so I think it's safe to call it a UCS. Oops. So, we'll call it a UCS Lego Star Wars Jawa Sandcrawler. Because, you know, why not? Anyway, I really like it. I'm going to give it 5 out of 5 nerdlies. Now let's take a look at some recently featured mocks. My Little Pony fans rejoice, especially you bronies out there. Two of the best characters, Fluttershy and Discord, are here to enjoy in brick form thanks to master character builder Ian Heath. This incredibly rich environment from Raul Baldwin looks like it comes right out of a movie or high quality video game. It's positively overflowing with detail. How about a snack? This retro refrigerator from Chris McVay is straight out of the 1950s. Not only does it have perfect styling, it's fully stocked with food. I wonder if there's any ice cream. Well, that about does it for this episode of Brick Nerd. Please subscribe, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and visit us at BrickNerd.com. Thanks for watching.